Well, projects today, projects today. Well, let's see. We got Mr. Alex stand here. Let's do a little more to chip off. I find that chipping was a very light. Even a screwdriver will chip off most of the old rough paint, so a little bit more to do and polish it and put the head on, which is a gyro compass repeater. I might chip and work on that too, right down there. So doing a bit of that, I got to clean this guy up, it's all brass. What, 50, 60 pounds? Nice hand wheel on it. Oh, I love hand wheels. Oh, my. So, what I was working on today was a magnetic loop antenna. Not this. this. These are normally fixed on the ships, bolted right down. Datum mark, they call it. Alignment procedure. It's another one up here. That's for aircraft. This is possible warship. What you have is wires coming up here and around and around and going back down. And I wanted to try and experiment for ELF waves. That's getting a lot of submarine activity. So using this junk laying around, that <laughs> just literally junk. Stuff I normally don't do, but I had to do it. Is that crazy looking thing? <laughs> so, thinking of, well, let's see what I could do. Okay, so we got the wires here. All these wires go up and around to the pool noodle. Okay. More wires on the other side. And I decided to. It's not looking good, but cool noodles, old pieces of plastic pipe laying around, tape, junky metal stuff, and a caster. Well, it seems to work fine. I guess I could have it motor powered. That means putting a gear on with a small drive motor. I could do that, but I didn't want to waste any too much time on it. I wanted to see if it was effective, and if so, I'll probably improve it. And it's kind of lopsided, but oh well. So, <laughs> what you can do with a caster and old garbage laying around. The wires were part of a cable system. I have a pile of that. So, And to actually uh, have it working with an antenna, you could use these as a brush. Just put a weight on it but it'd be interconnected and then run a kind of a brush piece running on a ring, a ring of metal bolted to the wood. And for adjustment, you just turn it like that and this would ride along the ring. <laughs> I'll see if it works. I don't know, but it's fun doing it. So a classic pipe and ordinary other plastic pipe stuff. It's adjustable. You can kind of form it or slip through here, okay? It's pinched here, so it doesn't stay fairly stable. You can adjust it by just moving this up and down here, sliding along. I put a bolt in the center, of course. Bolts along here. Put it on the roof of your car. Ha, ha. So I think you are the spooks. Well, we're a little lopsided, are we? That's no problem. <laughs> it's easy to form it. Pool noodles, I gotta love them. I used them in the old labs. It's not a problem to adjust that. It doesn't matter anyway. It's a test experiment. If it works, I'll be highly interested. If it doesn't, oh well. Just take it apart and use the wire and other junk. The pool noodle magnetic loop antenna. 
Why do you got a crooked wobble in it? Well, it's on a caster, but. <laughs> Funny. A long time ago, I had in the big one, huge one, that weighed, I think, 150 pounds each or off a warship, they're double loop. You have another loop coming around, like so. It's for information to the pilot and the radio operators. We had a data mark. It was marked, and uh, I think uh, they used a magnetometer and all that cool stuff to get it tr get it true basically so this thing could even lay down on the ground didn't need all the fancy moving around stuff got a lot of wire in there yeah have long wire antenna but i thought i'd try a loop and i'll, I'll try and get some uh a yagi i uh, just you can't find this stuff anymore on ebay there was a loop on eBay. It was uh, eh, uh, smaller than that. Was, the other one I had was in, is in Germany. Uh, the German people bought it years ago. Oh, well, so if you want to build your own for the fun of it, just get an old caster and some metal, like so. Bolts. I'm up here to strengthen it. <laughs> Whoa! There she goes! Something you try and have outside or inside. See if you pick up weird signals like I do most of the time. Getting to know them. Oh, wow, wow. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, yeah. There's a lot of ham operators doing their own stuff most of the time. This will be interesting. Because I could put a capacitor, a tunable capacitor there too. But I'm not going all the way on that. This bolt on the piece of plywood and off to the race you go. Have some funny music playing and oh wow. Oh my goodness. Oh well, what else I was working on? Well, it's another 428 volts in and 115 volts, three phase, 400 cycle stuff out. This fellow came the other day, did some minor repairs on it. It seems to be okay. A little strange looking, but a lot of um, electronics in this fellow. A lot of transistors. This is the right price. I have another one of these in never used condition with a case and everything with it. <coughs> I have to work on the fan here. It's a little stiff. That's from Jake. Back east. Thanks, Jake. I love it. I've got another piece from Drake over there, uh, RAK7. I have, all it needed was some paint and some touch up and the way it goes. RAK. Three letter radios. A lot of them a long time ago, World War II. And you wonder what it looks like? Well, okay. So it needed a paint job and cleaned up a bit though. RAK. over here. Oh, that's another R-A-O, I think. R. I wonder if I put the huge old in somewhere here. R-C-H. Scott Radio Company stuff. Another one in nice condition. Oh, what is your name? Your three letters, too? Of course you are. Top is, I don't want to move it, it's pretty heavy. Heavy monster. 
The ham's calling bow tank off, May John. We have here a little lupenta. See how that works. Yeah, it's slowly getting there. I wonder what I got today. There's gonna be a couple of pallets coming in. Got more stuff by mail and everything just coming in. There they are. Box. It's box. Open those up and see what came in. Haha. <laughs> oh, I think I've been talking long enough. Pool noodles are fun. Make good insulators. Wires and things. Cheap and sleazy. Stupid looking thing anyway, but it probably could work. I need some other weird antennas that reduce the uh, length of the wires and or VLF. I uh, hopefully I can get good VLF with this fellow. Although I do get VLF and ELF, but hey, it's fun to experiment, you know. Like the warships had uh, VLF antennas that were only 15 feet long, but they uh, it was a secret squirrel stuff. I got them on my balcony too. Okay, I gotta go.